here we are at here and now. And now is the time of the revolution, it would seem. We have the International Court of Justice just coming down on the side of the oppressed. This is uh, supposed to be uh, not to happen, but it's happened. Well, um, we're getting a lot of different reviews on what occurred, but I, I would like to start off, Abraham, by just making a little statement. Most of the imperialist countries, those who supported the Zionist Israeli state, in its war of aggression against Palestinian people, its murders to sell against the Palestinian, cutting off the water, cutting off the food, cutting off the, the medical care, cutting off the electricity. Most of these states, the United States, Britain, Germany, France, have said that the, that the case of South Africa brought to the International Criminal the International Court of Justice was without merit. Hmm. Now, just consider that statement without merit. Hmm. Therefore, nothing's happened to the Palestinians. Nothing, there, there's been no harm done to the Palestinians. Israel is conducting business as usual. Hmm. And that's how they see this as business as usual to keep the Palestinians in their place, to deny them the lack of self, the, the right of self-determination. And now they have to deal with this legal statement that they now are confronted with. It may, it may never be enforced. What's gonna happen from this point on is somewhat unknown. But I want all of our listeners to keep in mind, all of our viewers to keep in mind that the world and privileged powers said this was without merit. Yeah. That's how they see Palestinians, without merit, without any dignity, without the right to self-determination, not do any respect. They can be done anyway, just like Dred Scott case in the United States. Black people have no right that white people are bound to respect. So Palestinians have no right that the West is bound to respect. And that's how they see Palestinians. Mm. They, it, the struggle is without merit. Mm. Just keep that in mind. That's all, that's all I have to say right now. Yeah, yeah. Blinken has said that. I remember seeing him, you know, saying it, you yes. know, that the case yes. is no merit. You know? Yes. So what's he saying? You know, like he's saying that the Palestinian people have no merit. Exactly. Okay. I wonder what the, the Palestinian people have mind. no reason to live, you know, according to him. You know, like that's, no they have no to... value. You know, no it's business, a matter of business. That's all, you know. Like, right, you can't have... complain? Yeah. Why are you complaining? Mm -hmm. Look at what we gave you. We took your land. We take it. We we bulldoze your houses. Mm -hmm. We imprison your freedom fighters. We we um kill your children. We have roads that are good just for us. What are you people complaining about? You have no merit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now <laughs> At least on paper, Israel has to respond mm -hmm. to no merit. Mm -hmm. keep, huh. Just keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, they not only have to, uh, they have to report back to the uh, International Court of Justice in, in 30 days as well to report on how they're complying with the <clears throat> provisions that have been set up to prevent genocide from continuing because they consider there's plausible reason for um, some, if not all, of the contentions made by South Africa that genocide is taking place. They have given plausibility already. You know, this is a, already a, a partial positive, you know, decision on uh, <clears throat> the, the matter of genocide. And they're saying that genocide is taking place, you know, and they want it to stop and they don't want it to become like a Holocaust, you know, complete genocide. <clears throat> genocide <clears throat> is the process of creating a Holocaust. And that's what Israel is doing. You know, and not what have they done? They've increased the number of Palestinians who are killed per day. Now it's up to 250 instead of 200 since the International Court of Justice decision. Yeah. So this morning, you know, I I wrote I made a, a, a sort of an illustration of, of 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 what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, 
Uh, let's see if I can get it up on a, on a share screen here. I want to show you. <clears throat> I put it out on my Facebook. On Facebook, I use it as, you know, a news, you know, a journalistic news uh, feature. Yes. It's worked. Okay. This is it. Might is not right. <laughs> oh, I clicked on something. Here we are. Oh, that's Marty. Might is not right. And you know, there's this, you know, slogan from the uh, French Revolution of 1968. Uh, Continuons la révolution. C'est qu'un début. That means, uh, let us continue the revolution. It's only at the beginning. So, you know, like I'm saying, yeah, well, you know, the revolution is continuing. So, and then I put it out on the uh, the French uh, uh, news group uh, in Facebook, uh, which I happen to be a moderator of, you know, because I am I was living in France for a while. And it's up to 145,000 participants there. And put it up there as well. This movement is so big. And now here's the uh, the actual decision made by the... International Criminal Court, I mean, uh, the International Court of Justice, the, the uh, decision is being read out. But I don't have an audio speakers, you know, that work on my computer here. So if you go to uh, my Facebook, you know, you can get this. And this is the historic decision made by the American woman judge, who is the president of the International Court of Justice at the moment. And she was, you know, part of the State Department apparatus, but now she's become rather independent minded in the face of the facts. Well, um, I wanted to read. I wanted to. I wanted to make let the listeners know that the state. There are statements online from the Palestinian resistance movement, which I think people need to need to find and check out, because here in the United States, it's been very hard to get a a, a hold of these documents from the ICJ that South Africa. Oh, uh, I, I put them out on my Facebook. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Very um, here, uh, let me show you them as well. <clears throat> oh, now it's working. Okay, yeah. It's a two-step uh, process. Yeah, so this is the mic is not right uh, illustration poster that I told you that I had made this morning. In the background, yeah. you can see the uh, First Nations of uh, of the U.S. and uh, the Palestinians uh, in action. In the back there, it says from Turtle Island to Gaza. That's a you know, watermark that you, I, I you, mentioned, you, mentioned, you mentioned the First Nations. You know, this is such an abomination. Yeah, This entire process is such an abomination that this government that has committed nothing but crimes against the indigenous people through the entire hemisphere, them and the Spanish, the government of Spain, then to make statements that this without merit is to whitewash their own history in, in the Western hemisphere, around mm -hmm. the I'm going to come back to this a lot tonight, today, on our listeners, viewers, without merit. And now those without merit have to be considered in the world public opinion. Isn't that something? Hmm. And the decision was very much supported by the court. It was like 15 to oh, 10. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was absolutely incredible the level of, I mean, to see this that the judge from Uganda, such a disgrace. <laughs> yeah, well, he's bought, you know. Yeah, that's, that's, judge that's bought. Those, those, those are the kind of traitors and Uncle Toms and some people who, who, who sell you off for a dime based on law. Hmm. They're a disgrace. Yeah. Well, you, you get to have some sort of, you know, uh, 
some sort of you know agreement or treaty you know with Israel going on for some sort of privilege. Yeah, you know, obviously so. So the uh, judgment is being read out and it's uh, being uh, sub uh, captioned here as well. Sufficiently conclude that at least some of the rights claimed by South Africa, for which it is seeking protection, are plausible. This is with respect to the right of the Palestinians in Gaza to be protected from acts of genocide. They've declared it already. Prohibited acts and the right of South Africa to seek Israel's compliance. Wow. That's a very strong word, you know. I mean, you know, South Africa to even go in there with peacekeeping troops if necessary, together with the Arab nations, I think. I think that's what Security Council is going to be. Right. That's what I've heard. Of, uh, the same thing, put right? on, the, uh, on the carpet to do, you know, because, you know, they'll probably uh, have a resolution to, uh, considering, you know, whether or not this uh, judgment is to be adopted by Security Council. What's the U.S. going to do? What is Blinken going to do, <laughs> you know? Like he's the one, you know, said it doesn't have any merit. He's caught, you know, like in a corner. He, um, he's going to have to resign or something, you know. Well, actually, the demand should be made that he resign. Yeah. The demand should be made that Biden resign. If we don't make this demand, all over the world, the heads of government in these capitalist states, the Western powers, the demand must be made to get out. Yeah. If we don't make the demand, how are we showing solidarity? We have to take the advantage we have. We know it's a bourgeois court. We know there's going to be limits to what the courts are going to do. We know we can't rely on the courts. But this time, the courts are on our... We have a ruling that could help our movement. So why don't we just grab it and run with it? That's what we yeah. have to do. They're doing that in California. We have an opportunity. Is yeah, yeah. They're they suing Biden, uh, Biden in, in the California court right now. It's happening. Yes. Yeah. For sure, we we have to see that we have it. Irregardless, if you see the the verdict as good or not, it exists to have to use it. Yeah, that's yeah. what skilled politicians do. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to be skilled politicians right now. <laughs> if if the ruling had gone another way, we have to use. We have to take that take that opportunity and use it and use it for our interests, for the interests of, of Palestine, for the, for the interests of the oppressed. It's worked, yeah. This uh, it. international court, you know, really is a court. You know, I was skeptical, you know, whether it was a political instrument of each of the <clears throat> powers that, you know, assign the judges there, or <clears throat> was it really a court? You know, is it really independent? Can the judges actually make up their own minds? It would seem so, yes. You know, this is like what I said to the judge, you know, when I was being released from, from prison. I said to the judge, you know, like, I applied to the court, you know, for for redress you know i asked the court you know consider you know the <clears throat> that the uh, police condition you know banning me you know from anywhere around you know the jewish community campus be infringement of my you know charter rights to freedom of expression and the judge you know initially refused and said she didn't have jurisdiction and then we went to another judge you know with the movement lawyer maitre richard uh, beaulieu james Convinced the first judge she was wrong. She blamed it on the wrong prosecutor. Second judge, you know, gave, you know, like, uh, gave me a grilling, you know, as to, you know, what my intention was and everything like, and who was, who was I, you know, to sort of, you know, impose myself on the Jewish community campus and all that. So I explained I was Jewish Bundist, you know, coming to uh, speak to the Jewish people and inform them that they're being misled by the Zionists, basically is what I told her, and that I applied to the court, you know, to be able to do so. And the court, you know, made a mistake. And so I went and I got arrested anyway because I had a right to do so. And I recognized the jurisdiction of the court then and in front of the judge at that time because, you know, the courts are part of civil society and not part of the state. The courts can actually rule against the state. And that's why the Netanyahu uh, government was trying to basically abolish review of the Supreme Court of Israel over, uh, you know, legal, uh, legal proceedings there in the Knesset, in the parliament, so that they could get away with, you know, passing legislation that was illegal basically <laughs> and without review so you know i do very much rely upon the courts and now i find you know that the international court of justice has done something which is you know like just tops off the whole world intifada that's happening here a world mm -hmm. revolution that's developing against uh, uh settler colonialism 
in this well, age? You know, wow, mean, you know, I, like this is two, three hundred years out of date as well. You know, like it's totally ridiculous. This cannot come to pass. No way, no how. But I think now we have a situation. I'm going to keep coming to this today during our program, Abraham, where our listeners, our viewers must take action and grab the situation and expose what's happening and put everybody who's on the fence off the fence. Get off the fence. Rulings can go either way. This one has gone at least in our direction. The Palestinian people demand, deserve the right to be to be, be victorious in the struggle against the Israeli settler Zionist state. Mm -hmm. And if this can help them, let's use it. Mm -hmm. There is no ceasefire. You, and we must continue to expose the fact that the warmongers, those who want death, those who want blood, those who want destruction, those who want pillage, are not the Palestinians. They are the West. They're the United mm. States, Britain, France, and Germany. Mm. Yeah, with that's, an unlimited that's supply of bombs, bombs, tank shells, and bombs, and missiles, and everything. You know, like hellfire missiles, I even call it. You know, like, no shame. No shame whatsoever. No it's whatsoever. Incredible. Yeah. No uh -huh. whatsoever. And uh -huh. that's, that, that says something about the culture of that of that nation, it does. The yeah. history of that nation, it does. Yeah. Let's let's not mince any words. Only a nation with a culture of savages, of of um, uh, cannibals, a nation with a history of oppression, stealing land, lies. There's no treaty they've made with the native people in this country that have been changed. There's no law for civil rights. They've not broken when it comes to black and brown, other people of color here. They break the laws, they challenge the laws, it doesn't affect or they find some way to say that you're you're to blame for the problem. The way they do the Palestinians mm -hmm. over everybody. Mm -hmm. No merit, mm -hmm. no merit, no merit. Mm -hmm. They have the weak, yeah. the Palestinians have no merit. But now, at least for a minute, for a second, the tables could be turned. That's what I'm saying. Could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see how we how we move now. Mm -hmm. You know, the, it's as if this plastic layer of civilization has been stripped off of the West. And even Europe has now declared, you know, the European Union has declared that it's going to call for the implementation of the International Court of Justice uh, conditions. They, Abraham, they understand. They really have no choice. Yeah. At yeah. least if they want to look quote unquote decent. <laughs> now, those who don't mind figuratively being being naked, if if the emperor if the emperor doesn't mind not having any clothes, uh -huh. then the emperor doesn't mind. Some uh -huh. nations now I say, you know what? We messed up. We we, we better jump on this right away. Say, so, yeah, we support this. Yeah. But if yeah. not, they 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 have to deal with the BRICS countries, yeah. they have to deal with the global south. Yeah. They need those. They they need the food. They need the laborers. They need the resources. And the BRICS nations are the ones coordinating this. Mm -hmm. This is what I've, I've learned that the BRICS nations are coordinating the South African move and mm -hmm. and other moves that that they have planned. So now mm -hmm. BRICS is becoming in, 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 an entity within world world oh, yeah. affairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just reminded me, you know, South Africa is get, bringing in a charge of complicity against the United States of America. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. The United That's... States is a party to the conflict. Yeah. Who's giving them the guns? Who's yeah. giving them the intelligence? Who's, yeah. who's, who's giving yeah. the political support? Naval support. <laughs> yeah. Blinken was even, you know, sitting in on the war cabinet meeting, you know, the internal security cabinet meeting of the war. <laughs> and there he was. Asian no, as a concerned Jew. Yes. He, he said, he said that not Steve. He doesn't even know what being a Jewish person is. I, I, you know? I don't know. I'm saying what an assimilated jerk. Really I'm a concerned you know, pathetic. Jew. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Uh-huh. My my. So you know, but you know, Israel's not paying attention, right? Okay, so what do we do? The one key into the mechanism that is the Zionist machine, one thing that can be done to stop that machine is by Jewish injection, like a sabotage, you know, throwing in the uh, the wooden shoes into the machinery to stop the gears from grinding away. And that can be done by Jewish people. 
because they are pretending to be acting on self-defense of not only the state of Israel, they say that they're acting on behalf, on behalf of and in defense of the Jewish people as a whole, even though, you know, majority of the Jewish people don't even live in Israel. Exactly. You know, and, and the yeah. number of Jewish Americans is, you know, like more than number of Jewish Israelis, you know, to start off with. So, you know, this is a pretext, you know, that has to be destroyed in order to destroy Zionism, in order to stop the war. And that's why we should be speaking with every and every Jewish person we know, not Jews, but Jewish people. Yes. And exactly, let them exactly, know exactly. what we know. Yes, I agree. Because they don't know. They haven't been told this. They've been lied to. And the people that they have been that have been lying to them uh, are the people that they have trusted for all of their lives. And they can't get over it, you know? Like this is a, you know, like a life crisis for them because they cannot believe that they have, you know, spent, you know, like you know, half or what, three quarters of their lives believing something that is untrue. You know, it sort of puts into question their whole existence and they cannot let go of it, you know, that easily. So we have to be able to convince them, and we have to know how to convince them. And that's, you know, the role of the Jewish Bund, you know, and that's the role of the vigil that I'm going to go back to tomorrow. <laughs> and I put, you know, four uh, QR codes on the banner now, you know, so, so people can connect, you know, dropping by, they just have to take a photo, you know, and they can connect, you know, with our website, the Jewish Socialist Bund website. <laughs> it's getting organized. But... Uh, what, you do, brother, what you gotta do. Yeah. What you gotta do. We gotta really step it up. I think we have to make the analysis very clear about what happened, why it happened, and what opportunities must we take advantage of now in light of it. Like, the, like you said, the EU has come out as corrupt mm -hmm. and disgusting and filthy as they are. Mm -hmm. they are. They are nothing but scumbags, mm -hmm. human scum. They're the worst, the worst of the worst. Mm -hmm. The leadership. They had to, the they had to come out. They but they to. had to come out because if they had not made this move, they would have lost legitimacy. It's okay. a point now that this ruling will force nations on the side of Israel to either cut to the chase, I'm with you down to the end, or say, homeboy, I got to let you go. Goodbye. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> that's yeah, what otherwise, otherwise yeah. they would they would just yeah. lose the next election because their credibility would be shot. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm, their political credibility is on display, especially in parliamentary elections. Mm -hmm. They can call for, if somebody can make a call for vote, vote, vote no confidence, we're going to call an election. This wave of, a, of, uh, of revolt, this, you know, could have uh, immense, you know, local consequences, you know, because Good. in the if, United States election, you, you know, like. Take advantage of it and you utilize it for the interest of world humanity led by the Palestinian cause. We have to do that. This means, you know, that uh, Biden has just lost, you know, the entire Muslim and Arabic, you know, vote, okay? It's gone. The Jewish vote is negligible, means nothing. Okay, the so- The only way Biden gets it, the only way he gets it back is he he cannot do what I'm, he cannot do what a skilled politician would do. You know what, everybody? I'm sorry, I made a mistake. <laughs> Yeah, make himself look Israel good. Must, yeah. Israel must comply with the ICJ. If not, within 30 days, we're cutting off all funds. Yeah. I apologize to my to the Arab community. I mean, he can't he can't do that. Really? Even, no way. He, can't, he can't even make a lie. He can't even lie that well. Just lie. Yeah. He, he has to just lie to be yeah. reelected. He's not willing to do that. That's his that's his issue now. That's yeah. that's not Steve's issue. Yeah, the politician, like the politicians, are the EU. Uh, you know what, Israel? You know, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, homie. We got we. You got to do this, okay? Please, <laughs> so we can we can we can not be out of power. We can't sit on the sidelines no more. Please, please. That, that's 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 what the EU done did. Um, you know, <laughs> you yeah. got to do it, man. Oh yeah, I remember no, Macron, no, the pres no, the president no, of France. No. You know, he was saying gung ho for war and genocide and everything at first. You know, and he was banning demonstrations and banning yes. the Palestine flag. Banning oh, demonstrations, la, la, la. you know, <laughs> banning, banning demonstrations. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. my goodness.
Oh, and in England, both of those parties, both the Conservatives and the Labour Party are shot. Because nah. you know, the Labour Party just expelled well, all its anti-Zionists, well, all the Jewish anti-Zionists. Well, oh, you know, they cannot recover from that. What are they supposed to do? Yeah. Invite them to come back to the party and give them a high position mm -hmm. because they were right? <laughs> no way. Uh, we'll see how much Sunak and the, and the British are going to move. They're, I expect them to move like a, like, like a turtle next to a, a wall. Not too bad. <laughs> Uh, you know, but this is going to crack up, you know, political parties as well. You know, the Labour Party is going to crack up because they're going to, you know, they've discredited they, themselves they, now. They are discredited, not a, 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 as well as being discrediting themselves, you know. And then the, the Democratic Party is going to crack up as well, you know, because the left wing is Abraham. not going to, you know, like Democratic Socialists of America. What are they going to do? Stick, you know, to Abraham, the losing party? Abraham, that is, when your country, with an, when, a, when an ally of you, has the word G E N O C I D E yeah. next to it by a world body. You got to say, you know what, man, we got to go to the side. Oh, no, I'm serious. They, that's a that's probably the, the, the most damning word you can have put against you yeah. of a nation is yeah. genocide. Yeah. To even be accused of it, like, oh, hmm, we better get this straight. Yeah. And that's what yeah. people who are politically unaware are not are not are not yeah. recognizing. That yeah. charge in and of itself, to me, is the most damning charge you can have short of um irresponsible use of, of like nuclear weapons. You can hear yeah. traffic. Yeah. You uh, uh, you know, you can have slavery. Uh you can, you know, there's certain certain abuses that we all that, that disgust us, but it's allowed but genocide is not allowed yeah that's uh, it yeah uh, and the politicians of the uh, african people by king by by uh, the belgians oh. that's allowed historically yeah king leopold yeah uh-huh you, wow. you, you know we can't talk about the slave trade like, you know that's, those are just black people all right you know they're not worth anything they're without Speaking merit too that's where genocide began that's where genocide that's right. was practiced you know that's right because that's right sir. <laughs> There was the Congo, 10 million. Then there was Namibia by Germany. That was uh, you know, three, four, five, six, what million. And then it was, you know, like in anything that happens, you know, in the colonies, it doesn't stay in the colonies. And then it gets imported into, into Europe and, and that's six million of my people. There you go. Gone. You know, there you go. and 93% of my families gone. gone. You know, I have no family just left go, anymore. Just gone. Just yeah. gone. Goodbye. I know what it, uh, the Palestinians are feeling like there now. You know, I know what it is. You know, yeah, the same thing is go. happening there. And it's a Holocaust that's happening there. That's why I made that, that painting, you know, one Holocaust does not justify another. It and sure then I put does. out, you know, like I knew right away, you know, what they were up to, you know, because, you, you know, the, the, the words that they were using, you know, and even the Israeli judge voted in favor of the condition calling upon the Israeli politicians to decease from genocidal rhetoric and incitement and they called it incitement and that's it how you know incitement. genocide begins that's it right is, with words it is. yeah it is incitement it's clear-cut incitement yeah i mean this is what get me by people who are, who are denouncing this look the, the israelis were they were openly saying we're gonna do what we want to you fool we're gonna bomb you we're gonna starve you we're gonna threaten you we're gonna keep the food from you ain't nothing you can do about it yeah <laughs> That's yeah. why you have to support the Palestinian resistance. If you don't yeah. support resistance, you're saying it's okay for Israel to do this. Yeah, yeah. In my, in my opinion. Anyway, that's it. You know, it's interesting that the court didn't call for a ceasefire. You know, some people blame the court, oh. you know, for not calling for a ceasefire. Yeah. But, yeah. but, but, um, but, but, you know, first of all, they've called pretty much, you know, for a ceasefire by saying that, you know, they shouldn't be bombing. You know, like, once you stop the bombing, you know, they're... And then what's left, you know, is a guerrilla war, you know, against an occupying army. And Hamas is winning that war. So I don't really mind, actually. So that's not the not the issue, you know, like some people have tried to make that the issue. But what that is an issue of is what happens in 30 days when Israel comes to report on its uh, compliance with the conditions. And if they do not comply with the condition, then the court will say, well, Obviously, you're displaying intent, and therefore, we now are now calling for 
you to ceasefire and anybody you know supplying you with <clears throat> with weapons and ammunition is to be guilty of complicity in a violation of an inter international court of justice and that would be the united states of america it'll go there and there and it's going on yeah very good okay boy you know this is a real affirmation of reality you know like the whole world can see now what the actuality is you know what the real what the actual truth is you know in spite of you know all the lies you know the propaganda that the military in israel has been putting out now it's up to the jewish people you know to to check in and uh sign up you know to be uh to be real because you know right now uh you know like I don't mean, you know, uh, most of the Jewish community. I think it's about 50% of the Jewish community. From what I've experienced there, you know, like it's about 50-50. Because I get a lot of, you know, like nuance, you know, like little signs, you know, of support. You know, people smiling, you know, a little anything that cannot be captured on the video <laughs> that they're being registered on, you know, because the building has like three video cameras in front of it. And then two yeah. on the other side of the street. <laughs> so it's, you know, and then other people, you know, like just say, you know, a, a murmur or something, you know, yes, right, you know, like. You know stuff like that it's and that's you know like including you know the people who are not even jewish you know like are afraid to speak out so yeah <laughs> this should I mean, crack uh, crack true. open that, that shell I, I think that's something that um i was talking to someone about re uh, recently and i think that that's one of the characteristics or indicators this is a serious matter yeah that people are being harassed at their job or canceled as entertainers, or forced to resign from positions at major universities in the United States. That shows that that the opponents of Palestinian liberation take this as a serious matter, and we have to take it the same kind of way. And in that spirit, South Africa filed those charges. That, that it was in that spirit. Yeah, that's a very serious matter to take it yeah. before the, 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 the criminal to take it before the international international court of justice. Is a serious matter whether we agree with the court's validity or not. That's yeah. not a joke. You got yeah, I've, had, I've had people say to me, you know, like on the vigil, you know, that they're afraid of their landlords. You know, yes. they're afraid of losing their apartments. Yes, yes. If they speak out, you know, it goes down to that. It's that much, you know, like an absolute rule well, that the know, have imposed. But now, you know, they can't get away with that anymore. You know, I'm going to sort of, you know, we have, them we have to send a message. I, I, I think we have to send a message now to landlords that are threatening their that are threatening their tenants with eviction because they are pro-Palestinian, to school districts that are threatening their teachers or mm -hmm. or, or the classified staff because they're pro-Palestinians. Mm -hmm. We're to let you know that um, this is not going to be tolerated anymore. Yeah. In the same way that the ICJ's rule is ruling against Israel, we will have to sense in a rule a judgment against you. This must yeah. stop. Yeah. No one is saying that. We must say that this must stop. Yes. This is a precedent, you know, for any civil suit that one wants to take, you know, against yes. somebody who yes. has caused a tort, yes. you know, caused an injury to you, yes. you know, sue yes. them. And you cite the International Court of Justice as a precedent. All you have to cite is this happened. Clearly, it's going on. I took a, a personal, a, a human right position to, to display my feelings. And and and, and I, was, no, I was retaliated against. I yeah. broke no law. I committed no violence. I did everything peacefully. Yeah. Cool, man. Okay. Well, you know, I'll use that in my defense. You know, I've, if, you know, like I've been attacked at the pit vigil, you know, like uh, two, three times now. There and you last go. time, you know, like I was, uh, I thought the guy was just uh, trying to uh, push the banner down, you know, and push yeah. me. Yeah. But then when I was checking out, checking out the banner the other day, when I was fixing it up, I noticed there was a cut in it. Mm -hmm. I think he had a knife on him. And he, he was trying have. to slash the banner, but I stopped him. He may have, man. He may have, man. He, he, yeah. he, man, the Zionists, those Zionists, man, I'm, I'm sorry, man, but they're violent. Look at what they've yeah. done. They killed tens, tens of thousands of defenseless people. Yeah. That's murder. Yeah. Okay. okay so, I'll put on the uh, body cam and I'll watch out tomorrow. Okay. All right, brother. N nice, nice. So nice, you know, to speak with you, Steve. You know, like a really... <laughs> it's, okay, you know, man, we got we we gotta keep fighting this fight. All right, do that. <laughs>